Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you guys how to make a tycoon in 2023 with zero scripting knowledge. If you could build, you're good. If you can't build, you're still good because you could go get anything out of the toolbox and then just plug it into this kit. I almost knocked over my water again because I do that. How many keyboards? Anyways, if you missed the video from a couple days ago, my friend Robo made a tycoon kit and then I just rebuilt everything for him just so it looks a little more aesthetically pleasing. This kit, before we get too far in, he is selling for 1,000 Robux as a plugin. Uh, if you want it, I'll have the link below. If not, there are plenty of tycoon kits on the toolbox, but they may not work the same as this video and uh, they may not have all of the features this one has. Anyways, we'll start this out with the complete basics. I'll first click play, show you guys how this is system works and what it does all that good stuff and then i'll show you guys how to use it and how to make your own stuff with it also i've clicked do not ask me again so many times <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and close the output so we have a little more space. And as you can see, the Tycoon kit is right here. We touch to claim, and now we have the Tycoon color over our head, and we are the owner of this. Shows our display name and our Roblox name. Now, if we go over here, we can click on this, and we have a nice fade-in effect. The droppers can drop whatever you would like them to, whether that be a model or a mesh. And right here is where we collect our money. Boom, and we can buy more stuff. Pretty much how every other Tycoon works. Now, to show you guys how this works i'm going to duplicate this whole folder just to add another tycoon and i'm going to delete everything except one button and one purchase or object they're called purchases though so let's go into buttons let's remove all of them perfect and let's go into purchases and remove all of them so now we have one button and one thing that can be purchased from said button so if we open up the button group, we have this little con config script, aka configuration, and these are all of our, I guess, settings. Right here at the bottom, we have the button types. Normal Tycoon buttons need currency to buy it. Premium needs Roblox Premium to buy it. Game Pass, Group, and Upgrade. So there's the four button types, five button types. <laughs> and now we have all of this stuff, which I'll go through real quick. If it's a normal button, this stuff doesn't matter. If it's a Game Pass, you would put the Game Pass ID right here. And if it's an upgrade button, well, then you go into this stuff. But if it's a normal button, which 90% of the time it will be, you can skip that whole top half and go straight down to here so right now the colorizer that's what we're in right now it will cost 100 whatever your currency is set to in your tycoon so let's just put that to zero because we don't have anything to make money we deleted everything and then we have the delete object doesn't overly matter unless you wanted to like trade something out i guess like say you buy this button to delete i i don't even know what you would do with that honestly you buy it and it deletes your whole tycoon i i I don't know you know but if we did want it to delete something we would type out what object right down here probably one line under so we would just do like this at our little whatever these things quotations and then whatever object say we wanted it to, to delete a wall we would just type it like that but we don't have that object or really any other objects in this kit right now so we don't have to worry about it up next we have dependency basically what dependency is in a tycoon is you can't buy this button like it won't show up until you buy this one. So let's say we want the colorizer to show up after we buy the first dropper. We would just set this dependency to what it already is, dropper one. But since we've deleted that dropper, we're going to delete that dependency and that's fine. And then we have income. This is how much money you're going to get. And then of course the object you want the button to spawn in, colorizer. So if we did all this right and we click play, this button should show up and we should be able to buy the colorizer. Once again, do not ask me again. <laughs> And we'll go over to our tycoon. This is the one that we were working on. We'll claim that real quick and buy colorizer for free. Boom. And it does fade in. That's very cool on the colorizer. Very satisfying. If you don't like the fade effects, you could turn them off right here and also in the script. And since we've bought everything on this tycoon, we can now rebirth right there. Now we have one rebirth and 
10 tokens. That's your rebirth currency. And you can set other stuff to, uh, to rebirth currencies if you wanted. So let's say we want to add in another button and another object. All we have to do is grab this control D to duplicate. And then we need an object for it to spawn in. So I'm just going to add a part. So we have a part right here and a button right here. We need to move the part into the purchases tab. Okay. And I do believe it needs to be grouped. Um, I'm not sure, but that's what works for me. So control G just to put that in the group. And we're going to name this part. Keep in mind your capital letters because the script does need to know that. And it is case sensitive. So now that we have our part right here, we can go to our next button, which is this one. And we're just going to name this the same as our, our part. So we're going to name it part. And then we're going to open up its configurations. And right here, let's say we want this to cost zero still. We want it to be dependent on the colorizer. So I'm just going to copy it from right here and we're going to paste it right up here. So now that button shouldn't show up until after we purchase the colorizer. And now, of course, the object we want it to spawn is called part. So we're going to type part right here and we're just going to close this and we should be all good. Let's hop in and test it out. So as you can see, if we go over to this tycoon that we were working on, there's only one button, meaning the part button didn't spawn in. And if we claim this and buy the colorizer, then the part button will pop up right there. And then if we click on this part button, it spawns in the part. Very cool. That's the main gist of how this tycoon works and how you can add in new parts, new objects, new buttons, all of that. Now let's get into the settings of the actual tycoon, which is some pretty cool stuff. So we're going to close our tycoon tab. After you finish a full tycoon, you would just duplicate the whole folder, just like this control D, 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 and then you'd move them wherever you want them to be. Now to go over a couple other things, the essentials folder is something you will never touch. All of the stuff in that folder is needed. So don't touch it, don't add to it. I mean, you could add to it, but I wouldn't delete anything from it. And then right here, we have a little value uh, for tycoon color. So if we go into this kit, go to content, and then we have all of this stuff. We're gonna go to configs. We have currencies, products, and settings. This is just a spot where you can add dev products if you want people to be able to purchase money. All you have to do is change the amount of money they get. What it's called, whatever the currency you have in your game. And then the developer product ID would go right here. Right here is the currencies. So say you want your currency to be called Jeff's. Yes, that's my cat's name. Do you have an issue? <laughs> You would just change money to Jeff's uh, anywhere it says money. So probably here and here. And then last but not least, guys, the settings tab. This, it may look a little concerning at first, but I'm going to try to break it down for you guys. So first things first, the animations. If you like everything fading in instead of just popping up, uh, you could have that right here. You could change the time to make it fade in faster or slower for the fade in time and the fade out time. Now we have some settings down here as well after the animations. And this is going to be your main tycoon settings. So right here we have auto collect. If you would like players to uh, just automatically get their money and not have to walk down to the thing every time, you could turn that on. I would recommend in most tycoons to have that as a game pass though to help you monetize. We have auto claim and show team colors. All you do is change these to true or false however you want. Now here's some other stuff. Game passes right here. Sounds. Tycoon type. We should definitely get into that. So the normal tycoon type is a normal tycoon. You buy a dropper and then those drops get you money. The other tycoon type is income. So if you want that type, just switch right here where it says normal to the word income. And if you have any questions, everything is listed out down here. So the normal in the normal tycoon type, we already went over that. And income, income tycoon, where you can buy a button to give or to get more income per X amount of seconds. So say you wanted to do a tycoon like a hotel tycoon and you don't want to do all the droppers, no problem. You can make it so whatever that item is, it will give you however much money per however many seconds. So if you wanted to do it like that, you would just change this uh, from normal to income. And there is a bunch of other settings. All of this stuff that's been tabbed out kind of goes over every everything about this tycoon kit. So if you have any more questions after this video, I would definitely recommend looking into this. And if you want to see all this before maybe purchasing the kit, you could definitely take a screenshot right here or pause the video. But I think that's pretty much everything on how to use this tycoon kit uh, for anyone who's who's got it. If you want to see me use this kit and make a full game, let me know by dropping a like. If we get a thousand likes, I'll do it. Anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.